upright, stalwart, responsible manhood, attained only through the medium of that far greater glory, a clean living, clean thinking boyhood. Such was the idea in mind when, over 30 years ago, England's Lord Baden-Powell conceived of and founded what is now universally recognized as the Boy Scout Movement. The movement is so noble and far-reaching in scope that it quickly encircled the entire civilized world to become the living symbol of the spirit of youth. Virtually every civilized nation is represented in this vast scout movement. In every country, in every state, in every town of consequence, a Boy Scout troop may now be found. One of the greatest honors to be achieved by a member of the Boy Scout troop is to be chosen to represent his organization at the National Scout Jamboree. The first of which was but recently held at Washington, D.C., where the encampment was made in the shadow of that mighty spire, the majestic Washington Monument. Character is an element essential to success in life. This is one of the guiding principles of the Boy Scout movement. Scouting, therefore, endeavors to supply an environment which will mold the character of the growing boy. It desires to stimulate in every youth the ambition to become a better man and a better citizen. As every man is taught to respect his country's law, so is the scout taught to respect the 12 points of the scout law and to assume it as his own code of action. He is trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, and kind. A scout is obedient. He is cheerful, thrifty, and he is brave. A scout is clean. Twelve noble rules worthy of the respect and consideration of any man, paralleled only in the scout oath. Upon my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country, and to obey the scout law, to help other people at all times, to keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. And so, to those worthy lads, these statesmen, artists, heroes, businessmen, and leaders of tomorrow, the Boy Scouts of America and the world, we dedicate this picture. Yearning for the old 
open prairie That's the place I want to go Private property, keep off. Black Hawk Mining and Development Company. What's the matter, you stubby? Oh, I don't like it around here. I wish we was back on the Pecos where there's a little excitement once in a while. Well, you're never satisfied no matter where you are. But it's too quiet and tame around here. Nothing ever happens. you mind telling me what the big idea is? Yeah. You're trespassing on private property. Can't you read that sign? You make it a habit of camping under all your signs? Taking a pot shot at every stranger that happens along? Well, that was just a warning. We wasn't aiming to hit you. What? What do you call that shooting my hat off? But you wasn't aiming to hit us, huh? Well, maybe the next time we meet, we won't be aiming to hit you either. But uh, accidents will happen. Well, if you're a smart fellow, there won't be no next time. Cause we won't be so careful. Now beat it. Hey, it looks like it might be a Boy Scout camp. Let's go see. Hello there. Howdy. Hope you boys don't mind us butting in on you like this. Ah, shucks, no, we don't mind. <laughs> what can we do for you? Well, they're sort of looking for a spot to bed down for the night. Well, you're welcome to stay here and camp with us if you like. Hey, that's fine. Thank you. You know, you're sure lucky you're renting us out here. It's pretty dangerous to be alone in these woods. Hey, is that right? What's the trouble? Gosh, haven't you heard? There's been a million dollar train robbery right near here. We haven't got the gold or cut the robbers yet. And, say, you ain't the robbers, are you? <laughs> well, uh, uh, not, uh, not so as you could notice it. <laughs> Gosh, what a relief. Or, uh, I mean, you know, you, you look like nice fellas, but... Now, you gotta be careful. Right you are. Jiminy Cricket, how'd you know that? How'd you learn our scout salute? Oh, I used to be a Boy Scout. You did? Sure, take a look at this. Gosh, a silver beaver badge. Can you imagine, Tommy? He's been wanted to silver beaver. Jiminy Cricket. <laughs> Gosh, I'm sure glad to know you. My name's Buzzy Willis, and this is Tommy Kent, my friend. He's out from the east. Well, I'm sure glad to know you boys. <laughs> uh, my name is Tex Collins. These are my two partners. This is Stubby. This is Pee Wee. <laughs> Couple of tender feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I thought you were the robbers. <laughs> Say, would you like to see our cat? Say, I sure would. You bet. Come on. Hey, this joint's giving me the willies. How much longer we have to stay here anyway? Until the time is ripe to move, Stark. It hasn't been two weeks since we pulled that job. It'd be suicide to try and move that stuff over the border right now. Every federal man in the country is on the lookout for us. Don't we worry. The woods are full of boy scouts, all trying to find that gold. They'd spot us in a minute. Boy scouts? You can't tell me you're scared of a bunch of kids. 
Don't let those boys fool you. They're not as dumb as you think. Well, I ain't letting no bunch of kindergarten boys stop me. I'm all for pulling freight. And the sooner we do it... And I say we stay. Listen, Dorman, it ain't safe. They're on to us. How about those three snoopers we found up here yesterday? You can't tell me they were just up looking at the scenery. <laughs> You're letting little things bother you too much. There's nothing I told them to, didn't they? Yeah, but one of them was pretty fresh. I don't like his look. Here. Petty larceny. Stop moaning. Take this down to Sing Fung and cash it in. Do I have to be the fall guy again? You heard me. And be careful. Thanks for the tip. Where are you going, Tex? I'm going to town. I, I got a little investigating to do. You know, there's something kind of fishy about the way them fellers were so anxious to keep us off of that mine property yesterday. Now, I've got a hankering to find out what it's all about. You're right sure you don't want to come along with us? No, you guys go ahead. I'm going to stay here and learn how to be a Boy Scout. <laughs> <laughs> well, just as you say, see you later. All right. Come on, Tex. I'm back. Goodbye. So you want to be a Boy Scout, huh? Sure do, Buzzy. All right, then. I'll give you lesson number one in first day. Oh, that'll be fun. Uh, you haven't seen nothing yet. Huh? Stubby, how do you like the big city of Valle del Muerte? Oh, I think it's great. That is up till now. Look over there. What is it? Uh, looks kind of interesting, don't it? Sort of gives me an idea. Yeah, it gives me an idea, too. I think we'd better mind our own business and keep moseying on by before we get a hold of something we can't handle. Ah, oh, Stubby, don't be so much of an optimist. You haven't been hurt yet, have you? No, they ain't been bit by a rattlesnake, no, there. But that ain't no sign they ain't one of licking his chops and waiting for me around the next turn. Yeah. Tex, I don't like this business. Ah, but you will. As soon as the going gets good. Now, uh, we'd better split up here and have a look around. Let me know if you hear of anything. Mm, all right. But first, I got to find myself a laundry. If I don't get this shirt washed pretty soon, I'll have to nail it down to keep it from crawling off. <laughs> All right, see you later, sir. shirt of mine. I wish you'd kind of wash up for me. Uh, when can I get it? Oh, tomorrow? Next day, maybe? All right? Mm-hmm. You bling ticky, you catchy landlord. Well, that seems fair enough to me. Well, I... See you later. Goodbye. Oh, nice day, Mr. Stark. You got nugget, maybe? Lay this up and make it snappy. I'm in a hurry. You got plenty lich mine. All the time, plenty gold. Never mind that. How much does it weigh? Maybe someday you show some fun where you catch him go, maybe? I said, how much does it weigh? Can the question.
All right, how much? Eleven dollars and fifty cents. Eleven dollars and fifty cents? What a swell racket you've got here. That gold's worth twice that much. All right, Sing Fung, I'll take it. Thank you, please. I wasn't looking where I was going. Oh, well, that, that's quite all right. Uh, can I help you? Well, it wouldn't be a bad idea. Hey, maybe. Come up. Oh, well, I uh, thank you for your kindness, but you can manage alone, thank you. All right. Still think I'll help you. There you are, ma'am. Say, hey, you. Having quite a lot of trouble trying to herd these groceries, ain't you? Well, it seems that way. Thank you. Drop something. Oh! You know, you're becoming an awful pest. No, uh, just obliging. Well, now that you've done your good turn for the day, you can leave. I have work to do. You still walking? I work here, if that's what you mean. Now, if you don't mind... Nice place you got here. Hey, that's a good-looking mine, too. What is that, a gold mine? Now, please go and leave me alone. I'm busy. You know, I'm pretty interested in mines myself. Really? Yes, ma'am, I... I'm a geologist. No. The dorm with you. She's the owner of the mine. Owner, huh? Has he, uh, has he been getting much gold? Well, Mr. Dorman says... I wouldn't tell you if I knew. Now, please, get out of here before I... What's going on here, Norma? Oh, well, my name is Tex Collins. I'm a geologist. How do you do? I was just asking, Miss, uh, uh, what did you say your name was? I didn't say. 
Well, I was just asking the young lady here, just asking a few questions about your mind. Yeah? Yes, sir, I... What about the mind? What was it you wanted to know? Much, I... just kind of interested in it. Thought maybe I'd like to... like to look it over, if you didn't mind. Sorry, but we don't allow visitors on the property. No, but you don't understand. I've got a little money to invest. It isn't for sale, either. As a matter of fact, we're not interested in anything you have to offer. You're wasting your time, Mr. Collins. Goodbye. Well, sorry I bothered you. See you later, Norma. What is it, Stubby? Listen, I think I picked up a clue. I just come from that little Chinese laundry over there. You know I had that there extra shirt of mine I had to get washed. Oh, I know all about the shirt. I've had to live with it for the last six months. What else is it you had to tell me? Oh, well, anyhow, who do you think I bumped into over there? The guy we had to run in with at the mine. Good going. Oh, that ain't all. Just as I'm coming out, who comes barging in with this guy? He gives me the old fish eye, and I scare him out of a month's bulls by giving the old fish eye right smack back at him. Then I blows outside and looks through the window. Say, he takes out a poke and pours out a flock of gold on the counter, which the Chinaman weighs up and then pays him off. Now, I got a good look at the stuff, and I'll be a monkey's uncle if I'm a kidding you. He wasn't peddling nuggets at all. No, sir. It was chips. Pure gold chips. I'll lay a hundred bucks to a ring of smoke. You'd probably win your bet, Stubby. What you got on your mind, Tex? Well, you know, I just found out a few things that I think will fit in pretty well with what you just told me. You keep an eye on the laundry and see if you can pick up any of that gold. We may need it later for evidence. I'm going to mosey up to that mine and have a look around the first chance I get. But, Tex, will it be safe? Oh. About as safe as sitting on a keg of dynamite. Oh. <laughs> See you at the camp. If you'd have listened to me, still ain't too late. What you mean is it ain't too late to split the hole and blow out of here. If that bird's what we think he is, they're on to it. Ain't no use talking about it, Stark. Dorman says we're staying right here till the time is right to move this stuff. Drop that gun. Go on, drop it. Up with him.
There goes one snooper we won't have to worry about. We do such a scare to him that he won't stop riding until he reaches Mexico. <laughs> Down there. Left, face. Bounce, face. Right, face. Gosh, Tex, where you been? We thought you'd never get here. I got it all fixed for you to come up to my house tonight and meet Sis. Well, here we are, Sis. I want you to meet my pal, Tex Collins. Uh, Ain't he a very? Well, seems to me we've met before, haven't we? <laughs> well, I guess we have. Hey, do you two know each other? Yes, we've met. Yeah, that, that's right. Say, uh, I'd like for you to meet my two partners. This is Pee Wee. How do? This is Stubby. Pleased to meet you, Mom. How do? Won't you be seated, gentlemen? Sis, is it all right if I fix some eats for the fellers? That's a good idea. Go ahead. You want to come along? Eat? I'll say we do. Sure. Mm -hmm. Won't you sit down? Oh, thanks. Well, why don't you say something? Why do you keep on staring at me? Oh, I don't know. Thank you. Maybe I ought to apologize to you for the way I acted the other day. Well, it's about time. <laughs> I really should be terribly angry with you, but... Well, since you've come so highly mended by Buzzy, I, I guess there's no reason why we can't be friends. Shall we shake? Shall we? Put her there. <laughs> you know, those two didn't hit it off so well, did they? They didn't seem to. Maybe I can do something about it. Here, you start the fire. I'll be right back. See, how can you light a fire with a bow and arrow? You give it to me. I'll show you. Say, Tex, sing Norma's song while I get the eats ready, will ya? <laughs> well, I can stand it if she can. <laughs> Slab. Boy Scout, and it takes a Boy Scout to do this. Well, if you're so good, why don't you get hot with that thing? Well, it takes time. Do it. Hey, hey! That ain't no way to start a fire. Well, it is when you're hungry. Ow! Oh, what's the matter, Stubby? You sawed off wall rush, you burned my finger with that match. Oh, I'll fix it. What are you gonna do? 
What do you think? I'm going to administer first aid. Well, I've been following the mining business for a good many years. And I never heard of this Black Hawk outfit. Uh, this man you work for, this Dorman, how long has he been out here? A little less than a month. He's a mining engineer from the east. He leased the Black Hawk mine from... There you go again, asking a lot of questions. On the level, is that mine any good? I mean, uh, have you ever seen any of the ore? You're hopeless. Why do you want to know all this? Oh, just curious, I guess. Well, I'm not going to tell you. Fair enough. Then maybe you'll answer this question. Eh. Uh, I hear the Boy Scouts are giving a barn dance tomorrow night. How about you going along with me? I might. If I thought you could control that curiosity of yours and behave like a gentleman. It's a deal. From now on, I'll be the best behaved jet this side of Snake River. <laughs> hey, hey, hell! Come here, quick! Hell! Hurry up! Hey, Tate! Come here! Quick, will you? Hurry! Help! Help! Hey, Tate, get me out of this, will you? Dog pony Pee Wee, I know something like this is gonna happen. Is it my fault you wouldn't hold still? Now look at the mess you've got us into. I got us into. Huh? <laughs> What's in the letter, Tex? Oh, just a little idea of mine. It may lift the lid right off of this million-dollar gold mystery. What are you going to do, mail it? Well, that's sort of the idea. And after that, unless I miss my guess, things are going to pop around Valle de Muerte. We'll have this gang of robbers right where we want them. Gosh! No fooling, Tex. Stick around. You may learn something. <laughs> Say, Tex, uh, will you wait here while I go in and get my laundry? All right, but uh, make it snappy. I, I got something to tend to. Hello. You come for laundry? Uh, yeah, sure. He's ready? Sure, Mike. You catch him, Tiki? Tiki, yeah, here it is. Where, where is that plague fetid Tiki? Gosh, I guess I must have lost it. No Tiki, no washy. But doggone it, Sing Fung, you don't understand. I'm a going to a dance tonight. I gotta have that shirt. All the same, no Tiki, no washy, no shirt. You bling Tiki, you catch him washy. You can't do that. Well, all right, if you're gonna act like that about it, I'll, I'll come back later. Oh, see, by the way, you know, I'm kind of a stranger around town here, and uh, I just lost the charm out of a watch fob, and I was kind of thinking that I'd like to have a nice big gold nugget to take its place. You don't know where I can get one, do you? You like to catch a nice gold nugget? Nice big gold nugget? You got a big one you could sell me? How much you pay? Oh, well, that all depends on the size of the nugget. Plenty big enough? Well, that's about the right size, all right. Uh, how much? Oh, $20. What? 20 bucks? All right, all right. $15. Mm. Uh, $12? All right. All right, $10. <laughs> no, no. You, you flatten mine. I make it $8 or $8 all right. Give you five. Five dollars? Mm. Eight dollar, no more. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Here's your eight bucks. There's five, six, seven, eight. Bring the nugget. Wait a minute. Look who's down there in front of the laundry. Why, it's Collins. Well, I thought you ran him out of the state. I was right. Come over here. I want to show you something. 
They've been up to something in that laundry. Remember I told you about watching that guy start when he was at the Chinaman's and how we figured he was a pet in gold? Yeah. Take a look at that. Now, if that's a nugget, I'll swallow it whole. Just as I thought. Pure gold. Fresh out of the smelter. Well, that proves the stolen shipment is around here someplace. And I got a pretty good idea where it is. Come on, I got to go to the post office. You better take care of that bird quick. Watch me. Where do you get that stuff buffered into me? You've got your wires crossed, mister. I'm kind of particular who I bump into. I wouldn't miss. Not start reaching. Well, if it's a fight, you won't. If you throw away that gun, I'll show you how to go about it. Well, that suits me, partner. before you lose it again. I just got it off from Dorman. So Dorman had it, huh? What? A firecracker wrapper? Then I can't get my clean shirt? All the same, it's too bad. No ticky, no washy. Uh, but see here, Sing Fung, I gotta have that shirt. I'm going to the dance tonight. From this valley, they say.
running over to the office and getting it for me, like a good boy. Sure, sis. All right. Hurry back. How about a drink? Thank you. Seems to me I've heard that before. Shall we dance? Just what I thought. Read that. Think you mean? Well, I can't be sure. But I've got a pretty good idea who this squealer is in this outfit. We better give him that oven before it's too late. There's no time for that now. We've got to get that gold across the border right away. Everyone's at the dance. That gives us a break. Crossed. Stark has organized some of the gang and they're going to beat it with the gold. They're up at the mine now. There's no time to lose. do that for? Mind your own business. Get the rest of the boys and we'll head for the mine. Hey, hey, hey Ted, I got it all fixed. The boys want you to sing a song for her. How about it, boys? Yeah. 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 Stop it. Will you tell Tex when he finishes his song that I've gone over to Mr. Dorman's office and that I'll be right back? Sure. Ladies and gentlemen, our friend here, Mr. Tex Collins, will honor us with a song. Thank you, thank you, but uh, no need to stop dancing because we're going to sing The Gal I Left Behind Me. How about it, boys? Yeah. yeah. 
I struck the trail in 79. The hurt strung out behind me. As I jogged along, my mind went back to the gal I left behind me. Sweet little gal, the true little gal, the gal I left behind me. As I jogged along, my mind went back to the gal I left behind me. They don't find me, I'll make my way straight back again to the gal I left behind me. I'm the gal, a true little gal, the gal I left behind me. I'll make my way straight back again to the gal I left behind me. Hey, Stubbies, where's Norma? Oh, yes. She told me to tell you that she'd gone over to Mr. Dorman's office. Dorman's office? Rushing on us in a minute. So, you thought you'd put over a fast one and hijack the gold, you double crossers. Stark, I gave you credit for having better sense than to try and get away with a thing like that with me. Kemp, you might have known you couldn't get away with it. I wasn't in with Stark on this, Gorman. Honest, I wasn't. I'm just leading him on, see what he'd do. Sure you would. Just like I'm only kidding you now. What are you going to do? You ain't going to kill us. No. I have something better in store for you. Something that's going to give me a lot of satisfaction. What do you mean, Dorman? I'm leaving you for a little necktie party with the law. Oh, no, Dorman. You wouldn't do that to us, would you? A couple of you heard this gang up to the shack. Tie them up and leave them there. The rest of you get busy and finish loading this pack train. How is he, Doctor? No way of knowing yet. It's a pretty bad wound. However, he's resting pretty well, and that's encouraging. Got a pretty good idea who shot Buzzy. Who? Dorman and his gang. Now look. You two get all the Boy Scouts and get on up to the mine. Watch everything that goes on. 
but keep out of sight. I'll be along with the posse just as soon as Buzzy comes to and talks. Right. Come on, Stubb. You guys, we've got to get out of here. Well, what do you think we're... Hey, we... Put these sky rockets in your pocket. the border with that gold. We better be careful when we walk out of here. The place might be surrounded. bring them through here for? To keep out of sight. Come on. That boys, let them have it. You thought you could make your getaway, huh? My laundry ticket! Oh. How about a cigarette, partner? Well, you'll have to light it. Oh, yeah.
Hello, Tex. Howdy, Buzzy. Who shot your son? Who was it? I remember. It was Mr. Dorman. Oh, he shot me. Because I heard him talking. He stole the gold. It's up at the mine. Don't say no more, son. That's all I wanted to know. And you save your strength so you can get well quick. I'll see you a little later. Back to the mine with the other boys. I'll go round up a posse. to make a getaway, huh? You haven't got anything on me. I'm in a legitimate mining business. <laughs> legitimate mining business, huh? Well, that's the first time I ever saw gold coming out of the ground with the United States Mint stamp on it. This way, please. I'll travel you for my shirt. My good man. Keep the change. Uh, 
Hello, Buzzy. The Department of Justice owes you and your scouts a lot of thanks for helping round up the Dorman gang and recover the gold. You're a real hero, son. Ah, oh, shucks. I didn't do nothing but get shot. <laughs> well, at least you have something to talk about. Gee, that's right. We like to tell my kids about it. Hey, hey. Yeah. I got my laundry. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I got my shirt. Look. <laughs> <laughs> 